Mr. Onion is an emotional fellow. He gets upset and often cries. Poor Mr. Onion sobs all the way through sad movies. Oh, I love a good tearjerker, he wails. Mr. Onion even makes the pages of all his books soggy with his tears. This story is so touching, he sobs. Mr. Onion loves listening to the kitchen radio, too. But as soon as the sad song comes on, he sets himself off. Wah! Mr. Onion could really do with some cheer. Some light-hearted fun ought to dry up those tears, says Miss Broccoli. So the Vegetable Pals take Mr. Onion out for the day. They do everything they possibly can to keep him happy. Suddenly, tears well up in his eyes and he starts crying. They're tears of joy! I'm just an emotional guy, he sobs. Mr. Potato is very, very lazy. When the other veggies are leaping out of the vegetable rack, he is still asleep. And when they are sneaking out to go on an exciting adventure, Mr. Potato is just lounging around. Today, the Veggie Pals have decided to go out and play. Would you like to come, Mr. Potato? They ask. Nope, I'm resting, says Mr. Potato. He has made himself rather comfortable on some bread. You really are a slouchy, grouchy couch potato, Miss Carrot says, making a silly face. The vegetable friends decide to try out the new trampoline in the garden. Mr. Potato watches his pals through the window. They're bouncing, grinning, and giggling. Whoa! Whee! Wahoo! Boing! Finally, Mr. Potato joins in. Whee! This is fun! No more slouchy, grouchy couch potato. I promise. Miss Carrot is waking up from a terrible night's sleep. She is worried about the big show today. Every week, Miss Carrot and her friends put on a vegetable show where they all take turns to perform. But Miss Carrot is rather shy. She is having trouble coming up with an interesting act. I need a good idea, or I might get stage fright. As the other vegetables happily rehearse, Miss Carrot is fretting and getting nervous. Mr. Potato sees Miss Carrot worrying in the corner. Look at the new poster on the wall if you need some inspiration, he says. It's a poster about carrots. Miss Carrot grabs a notebook. Soon, she has an awesome idea for a carrot-tastic act. I have vitamins A, B, C, and E. Mashed or steamed, grated or raw, baked or juiced, you must try me. Miss Carrot takes a bow as she finishes her song. The other vegetables clap and cheer. Good job, Miss Carrot! Today, Miss Eggplant is running around the kitchen. I've lost my crown! She exclaims. 
She looks inside the cookie tin and catches Miss Carrot having a sneaky snack. I was just, um, tasting them. She looks under the sugar bowl and spills sugar on Mr. Potato, who was snoozing beside it. Mmm, sweet. She lifts the bread and poor Mrs. Broccoli rolls off and lands on the counter. What are you up to, Miss Eggplant? asks Miss Broccoli, brushing herself off. I've lost my crown, Miss Eggplant says, looking flustered. Well, why didn't you just say so? We will all help you to find it, my dear. So the veggies are searching all around when they hear something. Crash! What must it be? And there they find Mr. Onion wearing Miss Eggplant's crown. It's too big for you, Mr. Onion. Oh, how they all laugh at the sight of it. Miss Broccoli is sitting in front of her mirror. She is styling her big green curls. She fluffs and sprays and curls, but she can't seem to cheer herself up today. What's wrong, Miss Broccoli? Your hair is beautiful, says Miss Eggplant as Miss Broccoli is looking into a shiny spoon. But it doesn't matter how lovely I look. I will never make children like me, Miss Broccoli says. What do you mean? asks Mr. Onion. You go well with some fried rice. And pasta too, adds Miss Carrot. You even go well with pizza, says Mr. Potato with a wink. Kids love you. You're right, my friends. Kids love me, Miss Broccoli says happily. Miss Broccoli thanks her friends for cheering her up. Well, that's what friends are for.